Nick is ready to configure routing for his kitchen printers. A kitchen printer prints a copy of an order on a piece of paper called a chit, which is read by the employee responsible for preparing the order. When configured correctly, each networked printer will deliver only the portion of the order to the area of the restaurant that is responsible for preparing it. Nick, the next thing we should set up in back office is your kitchen printer routing. Yikes, that sounds complicated. What does that even mean? With kitchen printer routing, you can choose to have only part of an order submitted to a particular station in the restaurant. For instance, if an order consists of a burger and a beer, the printer near the grill would print out a chit that lists only the burger, and the printer in the bar would print a chit with only the beer. Oh, I see. That would be really helpful. In the past, all of my printers delivered identical tickets to all stations of the restaurant but it was common for employees to misread a long ticket that contained several items intended for the other stations. How many printers do you have in your restaurant, Nick? I have one in the bar, two in the kitchen, and one at the expediter station. I want the two in the kitchen, for the grill and the fryer, to print the same information, though, because the back-of-house duties overlap quite a bit. Also, the expediter is responsible for putting all items together and notifying servers when an order is complete, so they will need a chit with the complete order. No problem. So you have four printers in all, and you want two of them to print identical chits. We will set up the routing for that now. To get started, navigate to Settings, and then Kitchen Routing. We will establish all of the groups that you will use first. Select the Add Kitchen Group button. We will call this one Bar. Then create another group named Kitchen. We will come back to these groups in a moment. Next, we will create an entry for each of the four printers you will be using. Select the Add Kitchen Device button and enter the name Bartender. What do the checkboxes do? If you select the top option, Consolidate Items on Chit, Identical items will be shown as a single line item, as shown here. If left unselected, each item is shown as a single line item, like this. If you choose the bottom option, one item per chit, each item in an order will be printed on a separate chit. Let's select the top option to consolidate identical items, but leave the bottom option unchecked so each order uses only one chit. Let us continue to configure your printers. Follow the same steps to create an entry for grill, fryer, and expediter. There, all four printers have been added. Next, you will associate each group with one or more printers. Start by selecting the kitchen group. In the dine-in column, there is a checkbox for each of your four printers. You will select the boxes of the printers you want to print kitchen items. I will select the fryer and grill printers then. What about the takeout and delivery columns? If the order type is one of these, you can choose to have it printed to a different kitchen group. This can be helpful in restaurants that have specialized takeout and delivery teams. That is a great feature. My kitchen staff prepares all order types, though, so I will select all order types for both printers. And because these printers are in the same kitchen group, they will print identical chits, right? That is correct. But do not forget that you also need the expediter printer to print out kitchen group orders. That's right. I almost forgot. I will select the options for that printer as well. Next, we will set up the bar group. Select the bar now. This is easy. I will just select the bartender printer and the expediter printer. Because I've added the expediter printer to both the kitchen and the bar groups, it will print a chit with the complete order on it, right? That is correct. That is all there is to configuring your kitchen printer routing. Awesome. It sounded intimidating at first, but it turned out to be really easy.
Once you have your printer groups finalized, you will be able to assign each item in your menu to a printer group. You do this by navigating to the menu section, selecting or creating an item, and assigning it to a printer group using the drop-down menu. We will talk about the menu item screens in much greater detail soon. Remember, Kitchen Printer Routing gives you control over what items are printed to each printer in your restaurant. This is accomplished by creating kitchen groups and associating each menu item with a group. Nick has finished routing his kitchen printers. Next, he will begin to learn about making changes to his menu with categories and modifiers.